Attention, the following video is going to totally kick ass. If you enjoy any of it and or have a large penis, please click the like button below. Enjoy. Hello everybody and welcome to another awesome puke video. This week, we are going to be talking about an enigma on YouTube. One of the most infamous names on the platform. The one and only Logan Paul. Logan Paul is a name that needs no introduction, and I'm not going to give you one because I don't want to waste your time. But he's been on the platform for roughly 10 years now, and he's amassed over 23 million subscribers, which is probably more than I'll ever have. So if I say anything bad in this video, he can destroy me in just like one tweet. But something is different about Logan Paul. You have YouTubers that are like him that's been on the platform for 10 or even more years, However, Logan Paul is different. He, whenever he gets into a controversy of any type, somehow he gets back on his feet. Like, he's been in so many controversies, more than I can say for any other YouTuber, and it doesn't hurt him at all. For example, the first controversy he had, like the first big one, was the Japan stuff where he went into a forest and literally filmed a dead body. That is like career ending stuff, but Logan, he, dropped, he, he bounced back with, you know, that amazing apology video that we all know and love. I've, I've made, made a severe, severe and, and continuous, continuous lapse in my lapse judgment. In my judgment. <laughs> that video was a pillar on YouTube. And then we jump a few, then we jump a few years forward and we had the CryptoZoo stuff where he got completely laid out and destroyed by CoffeeZilla, exposing his crypto scam, CryptoZoo. I'm not going to get into what CryptoZoo is exactly, like I'm not going to give you a lot of details. If you want more details, I suggest you watch all the CoffeeZilla videos, they're very good. But the cliff notes of the controversy was Logan Paul had this crypto thing called CryptoZoo where you could purchase eggs on online and they would, you could purchase them with crypto obviously, and they would hatch into these like mixtures of creatures, it would be like a duck and a panda for example. They would be mixed by these professional Photoshop artists. If you look at the images of what they actually look like, it was crap. It looked like someone. It looked like something I would make in Photoshop. So obviously, you can see where people were angry, and most of the people didn't even get what they paid for in the first place. They didn't even get the animals. And if the Japan stuff didn't finish him off, this surely would have. It's like he. I think he scammed people out of like two million dollars or something like that. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm making up that number, but something like that. And he didn't even pay them back. Like, he did kind of, but it was some backwards form of paying back. It wasn't really paying back, but it was paying back enough that he could say he was paying them back. But he recovered from that. And he re he even recovered. And then later, even later than that, he had the whole thing with his wife, where his wife was, like, getting exposed by... I can't remember the guy's name. It was some guy he was having a boxing match with that was trying to be like stir up drama. I can't even remember the guy's name because he lost. But he got he bounced back from that controversy mainly because a lot of people were on Logan's side for that. But still, and then recently he has a big controversy with Prime. I'm sure all the 12 year olds watching this know what Prime is. My demographic I'm sure is mostly 12 year olds anyway. So I'm sure all of you are drinking Prime while dr while watching this video. But Prime isn't Logan's thing only, it's with, with him and KSI, and they've got into a lot of drama recently. Again, I'm not going to get too into the drama, because then this video will be an hour long, and I don't want it to be. So if you want to if you want to know all the details and like watch an actual good video, you can watch Oompaville's video on it. Very good YouTuber. I, I mean, I, I'm sure if you're watching me, you know who Oompaville is. Right? Anyway, the summary of that drama is that Prime had these things called PFOs and PFAs, forever chemicals they're called. Every drink has PFOs and PFAs if you look into it, like, and these forever chemicals, the reason they're bad is the, the, reason, the word forever. Usually pretty bad for a chemical to have the word forever in it. But essentially these chemicals will stay in your body forever and they can cause stuff like cancer, which is not good. And the, I don't think it's the FDA, but some food stuff some food organization said that in a lifetime a drink is supposed to have 0 0.02 parts per trillion pfos and pfas prime specifically the grape flavor 
had 0.06 parts per trillion, so three times the lifetime limit. This was exposed by some TikTok lawyer, so he was basically just saying, source my ass. Like, he didn't really have any backing or any proof. But a lot of people got the situation twisted where they thought that if you drank one bottle of Prime, you were gonna die and get cancer like immediately because it has three times the lifetime limit. That's a scary fact. But 0.02 parts per trillion isn't one drink. The lifetime limit for PFOs and PFAs, if it's 0.02 parts per trillion, that means if you have a drink like water that will have 0.02 parts per trillion, most waters do have around that, if you drink that bottle of water your entire life, you'll be fine. But if you drink Grape Prime, which apparently has 0.06, then you may have higher risk of stuff like cancer. Which is still bad, no one wants a high risk of cancer, but it might not even be true. And I'm pretty sure the lawyer even backed out of the lawsuit and just deleted all his videos because he, I think he was just lying to get drama, or he didn't mean to lie, but apparently he ended up lying. Now that we've gone through all the main Logan Paul dramas, he's had many ones here and there. If you, if, like, you'd probably realize how the hell is this guy coming back from all this? These are so many big dramas, one of them saying that his drink causes cancer. How the hell is he bouncing back from all these? Well, Logan Paul being a very good YouTuber, he has a PR team. And his PR team must be amazing. Like, for him to bounce back from everything he's been through, I'm not saying Logan Paul is a good guy. I am no nowhere close to saying that. I, I don't like him. A lot of people don't like him for good reason. But somehow, he keeps bouncing back. Maybe it's because his audience is too young and doesn't care. But right now, you could say that Logan Paul is at the best he's ever been. He has Prime, which apparently is making, I think, just sold its billionth bottle. He's He basically brought back the WWE. I don't know if people are going to get mad at me for saying that. And he's living in Puerto Rico, where he's raising the property value for the entire place by having, like, a mega mansion. Because people are... Spoiler, don't have mega mansions in Puerto Rico. But maybe Logan Paul is just special. Because, for example, Jake, his brother, he, he, no one cares about Jake. Mainly because Jake just didn't help himself ever. I don't think he basically ever apologized for anything ever. So maybe there's that. But even, like, other people that are like Logan, they don't recover from this stuff. If anyone else had as many dramas as Logan, they would be gone. Like... And it's not even OG tax, because Logan isn't that OG, he's 2015. That's pretty far into YouTube for a big YouTuber. And like, if we're going off OG tax, someone like Miranda Sings, she had one controversy and one bad apology, and now she's gone, no one cares. Or maybe it's a bit more sinister than that, and YouTube is the one behind all of this, where they just specifically help Logan because he's one of the good boys on YouTube. He's been on pretty much every YouTube Rewind, so maybe YouTube likes him. I mean, they don't do them anymore, but when they did them. So maybe he's on their good side. Or maybe the Lord is on his side. Maybe the big G-O-D is on Logan's side. Well, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Sorry this video came out a bit late. Uh, some issues. I recorded this video once before and then my mic was unplugged the whole time. So it used my, it used my webcam mic. So you can imagine how that sounded. Okay. Okay. Let's do this! Yeah! That's pretty much it. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, Discord, join that. Subscribe to Patreon if you want, follow the Twitch, do it. I'll, I'll probably start streaming soon again, maybe. Promise. And buy Maverick merch. And I'll see you next week. Unless I do the same issue and I do the same stupid mistake again. Bye bye. I see dead people. Hey, monster on the beat, ho. Debo, any rat nigga, he a free throw. Man down, call like Amber Lambs, tell him free, bro. Nell a nigga to the cross, he walk around like Tizo. What's up with these jabroni ass niggas trying to see Compton? The industry can hate me, fuck them all in the mama. How many options you really got? I mean, it's too many options. I'm finna pass on this body, I'm John Stockton. Beat your ass and hide the Bible if God watching. Sometimes you gotta pop out and show niggas. Certified boogeyman, I'm the one that up to score with him. Walking down whole time, I know he got some hoe in him. Pull on him, extort shit, bully the flow on him. Say Drake, I hear you like I'm young. 
You better not ever go to cell block one. To any bitch that talk to him and they in love, just make sure you hide your little sister from him. They tell me Chubb's the only one that get your hammy downs. And party at the party playing with his nose now. And Baka got a weird case, why is he around? Certified lover boy, certified pedophile.